What's going on guys? Dubs here back with another RuneScape guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at Zulra, so let's jump right into it. Alright, let's talk about what equipment you'll need to bring with you. For my equipment, I'll be bringing along a full set of carols, a necklace of anguish, Ava's assembler, a blowpipe, a ring of suffering, uh, eternal boots, barrows, gloves, and a war blessing. I'll also be bringing along a trident of the swamp and Eldinus's ward, an occult necklace, a tormented bracelet, an imbued god cape, and a full arum set. Alright, let's take a look at the inventory. For In my inventory, I have all of my magic swaps, as well as a divine ranged potion, an anti-venom plus, two prayer potions, four anglers, Filled my inventory with some mana rays, a teleport to the boss, as well as a mythical cape to teleport out. Zulra is located over in the Poisonous Wastes in the Elven area. To get over here, you'll need to have completed the Roving Elves quest, and you'll unlock Zulra as a boss. I'll be using the Zulandra teleport, which takes me right here, and you just have to run off to this dock right here to end up entering the boss fight. And you'll fight Zulra right here on this little crescent horseshoe-shaped island. Once you arrive at the Poisonous Waste, go ahead and continue east and just run down to the dock over here and go ahead and board this ferry. But before you board the ferry, go ahead and eat an angler and take a sip of your Divine Raging Potion. Once you're on the other side and have arrived at the island, run over to the northeastern tile over here to start the fight and make sure that you have your Zulra Helper plugin open over here. You'll notice that he doesn't have a indicated prayer on this tile that's active right now, so you can just go ahead and keep shooting him, waiting for him to dip under the water and selecting the next prayer. So he moved over to the magic phase, so we're going to select the magic phase and just keep damaging him while praying to magic. So the next phase will be ranged, and you can see it has an X right here on the icon. So I'll need to stand on this tile over here for the next phase. So I'm going to run, go ahead and run over to that tile now and start praying ranged because he's going to come out attacking with ranged now. I'm going to swap to my magic gear once he's in the ranged attack stance. And then once he dips back down, he'll be going back over to magic. So we're going to swap back to our ranged gear now. Go ahead and turn on protect from magic. And go ahead and tap the uh, magic icon over here on the right side of the screen. Our next phase will be melee. You can see because the red dot right here. And we'll need to run over to this pillar. So Zulra is going down. We're going to run over to this pillar now. He's in his melee phase. And we're just going to keep hitting him. Should actually be maging his melee phase. I'm used to doing Bofa only runs, my bad guys. But you should be maging him when he's in melee. Now he's going back to range, so we'll keep maging him. We'll leave on protect from range now. And just keep hitting him. Our next phase will be another acid spewing phase, and we can just stay right where we're at as he teleports around the room. Up next, we'll have a magic phase, so we're going to end up running to the right side of the encounter. As soon as he dips beneath the acid pools. Here we go, he's going down now, so we're going to go ahead and eat and top off. And go. Oh, when he's down, actually, we don't have to go to that next phase. Alright guys, I'll show you another kill too. Go ahead and restock and get ready for it. Alright, I am back at the Poisonous Wastes and re-geared. We're running down the dock now. We're going to take a bite of our anglers. We're going to sip our Divine Ranging Potion. And we're going to go ahead and cross over, making sure that our Zura Helper plugin is ready. Running to the northeastern tile again. Activating our Rigor Prayer. And let's just go ahead and start hitting Zulra this time as he's just sitting there waiting. He's going to dip beneath the water again and we're going to have to select a phase. All right, he's dipping down, and he went to a ranged phase. So we're going to select the range phase, turn on protect from range, and just keep hitting him. Technically, you should be using magic right now. My bad, I am used to doing a Bofa-only run, like I said earlier. 
All right, for our next attack, you can see right here, he's going to dip down, and boom, we're going to have to stand here, and he's going to the melee phase. So we can even turn off our protect from range, because we're not going to need it at all. We're not even going to need protect from melee. We've been venomed, so let's go ahead and sip our anti-venom. All right, he's dipping down again, and he's going to go over to a magic phase. Let's turn on Protect from Magic and just start blasting him. Ooh, I got hit pretty hard right there. Ooh, he's out of range right there. All right, so we'll have to stand right here for this one. And back to magic. So let's go ahead, and, or back to range. So let's go ahead and turn on Protect from Range, equip our magic gear, go ahead and top off our health and just keep hitting him. Up next is magic. So Protect from Magic, back to our ranged gear. And we're just going to keep hitting him, just trying to stay up on health and dealing as much damage as possible. Up next, we're going to have a nothing phase. So, as you can see, my bet I'll leave the orientation like this so I don't confuse you guys. We're on the right side of the screen with a no phase going on, so we're going to stand on the right side, no phase, and just keep damaging Zulra. He's going to dip down for a ranged phase. Go ahead and put on protect from range and continue damaging Zulra. Up next will be a magic phase, so we're going to go ahead and prep for that. All right, he's dipping down, protect from magic. We'll sip a prayer pot, just keep hitting him. The mage can hit through prayer occasionally still, and it hits pretty hard, so you might have to eat and uh, tank through his mage phase every now and then. Up next, we'll have Azulra Jad phase, where he will alternate attacking with ranged and prayer back and forth. Here we go. So he's going to start with the ranged attack. Nope, that was a magic attack, actually. To ranged, to magic, alright. To ranged, to magic, to ranged. I'm missing the prayer flicks, but you guys get the point of it. And Zulra's dead. I am not the greatest at it. It is much easier with the Bofa only run. But there we go, guys. That was two kills. Not the cleanest, but two down. We got a little bit of loot in, and that is all there is for my Zulra guy. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. If you'd like to see any other bosses or if I missed any other tips or tricks, let me know down in the comments below. If you'd also like to join the new school community, our Discord link is down below in the description. We'd love to see you guys there. We also stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, as well as Sundays. If you'd like to come hang out with us live and chat with us, we'd love to see you. And if you've made it this far, I appreciate it as always, and game on, my friends. I'll see you next time.